Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Okami Den. Uh, in the last episode, we did yet more uh, Yakushi Village side questing. And now we're going to get on with the plot, much as I wish we weren't, given what the next couple areas are. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. If there's a break in my video uploads, you'll know why. Because I died a lot and got annoyed. Um, so yeah, let's get back to Agata Forest. Alright. That was stupid. That was really stupid. To be fair, though, I really couldn't see it on the map. Or my f or in front of me. I don't mean the map, I mean the, you know, the... You know what I mean. I really probably ought to, you know, uh, I don't really care about a divine rosary upgrade just yet. And I can't get anything better without more lucky coins, so screw it. I mean, sorry, the rosary is not good. I, mean, I liked it in the original game, but in this one, it's just really not good. So back to Agata Forest through some stuff I really don't want to deal with. No. Ugh. Alright. Ugh. Sudden perspective shift. And so, we hop along. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this bit. Alright, well... I mean, this particular bit is not so bad. We need to go see Madame Fawn, as I said. We've pretty much done all the stuff to prep for it. Ignoring you. I also need to really need to start looking up imp uh, floral, floral finishers. <sighs> All right. Doo -doo -doo. Let's go finally see the lady. This is a sort of point of no return, by the way, talking to Madame Fawn. Um. You want to do all of this stuff because if you, before you talk to her, because once you do this, you're kind of locked in. You can't leave Agata Forest because Kuro will yell at you. So remember to do everything I've done. Just when the water recedes, and I think I can go back to fortune telling at my own house. Demons come and steal my fortune telling equipment. Even though I foresaw this, destiny determined it should happen. However, I cannot see the future without my equipment. It totally blows. How about we do you a favor and look for your fortune telling equipment? Really? I will give you a list of what was stolen. Have a look at it. I was able to see the places where my things may be, so I've marked them on your map in red. Good luck. So we now have Madame Fawn's goods list crystal, which we already got, a slip of paper, and two other things. This is a bone, and this is an odd necklace. They are held by demons. Yeah, I know, you're shocked. Okay. So, we're gonna go out, we're gonna find demons, we're gonna kill demons. All in a day's work for a puppy. This game is still really adorable. Aha! I see a culprit. Hamenda! I watch way too much Detective Conan, but you probably knew that already. Not you. Notice those dandelions. Still can't do anything about them. A fire. Interesting. I think it's just color. Haha. -ha. Hello? Bad guy. Ha. <sighs> Speaking of, has anybody seen that video of um, the actor for Dr. Doofenshmirtz doing a Doofenshmirtz version of Billie Eilish's bad guy? It is absolutely ridiculously hilarious. Uh, of course you're up there. Can I bring you down? 
Yes. Ow. Oh, we're paralyzed. Damn it. I don't like you. Have I mentioned that yet? Die. Still can't floral finish that jerk. And we got a bone. Gives images of the future when heated. Yeah. That's that's how uh, it's called, I think, scapulomancy? I'm not sure. But they heat the bones in a fire and they crack. And reading the pattern of cracks will tell you... Okay, those are the camera switchers. Um, map. And the other one is all the way over there. Figures. Anyway, the pattern of cracks helps you read the future. I don't know much about it because uh, that's not a fortune-telling method I've studied. It's not really that popular in the West. <sighs> Tarot cards I can do. Palmistry I can do. Oh, I, I was absolutely fascinated with methods of divination as a kid. Um, and even, you know, in high school, there was, uh, we had a ignoring you. Uh, we had a school festival. I told card, I, I told fortunes to raise money for the drama club. And, uh, one of the teachers came up to me and got his poem read, and I said, you like working with your hands, especially in wood. And he's like, yeah, how'd you know? I said, you see this line here? Yeah, that's a chisel scar. Oh, wrong. No, can I? There we go. Yeah, sorry about all the, uh, I, I got an itchy. Okay, let's see here. I don't think... There we go. Try that. Mm. Again? Okay, I know I can get that. There we go. You are really annoying me. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And we get some more skins. And hit that back at him. There we go, and hit it back at him. Okay. God, ne ne an item that won't reveal the future. You found all of Madame Fallen's goods. I guess she just likes it. I don't know. Ugh. All right. Well, let's get back to. Um, we're gonna ignore you and just get on and examine. Get our ink back. Don't save. And let's just head back and talk to Madame Fawn. Pardon me. <laughs> All right. So that that didn't take long, thanks to pre, you know, search. Thanks to searching the area in advance to get half of the stuff. Preparation. Ah. <sighs> So, 
Oh, well, if it isn't my fortune-telling equipment. This completes my entire set. Thank you so much. As a reward for finding my equipment for me, I will give you a free fortune-telling session. And some praise. They are both important. Yo, you think you can tell me what my duty is? Certainly. Wah, let's see what the bones have to say. Yes, I see it. It's coming to me. To set foot again upon the clouds, you must go to the ghostly market. Oh, no. The feather you gain will allow you to fly on the breath of gods. That's all I can tell you for now. The rest is up to you. Well, you just told me about my wings. I need to know what I have to do, dude. Then finding these wings of yours is the first step on the journey. I feel like we just got taken for a ride. Anyway, we don't have any better ideas, so we'll do what she says. Nah, dude, it's... it's... well... All right, so how are we gonna get to the demon market? We're gonna come out of the cave and there's gonna be a way there. I mean, it's gonna be a cutscene. Yeah, uh, who's shocked? Yo, what are those? Oh, we have to do this again. And it's night. Gotta love plot convenient time passing. What, you know what they are? Yeah, they're called fairies. Probably you say in the uh, Japanese. Well then, let's see if you're right, boy. We know what we have to do here, right? There we go. Just make a star, okay? I did. All right, fine. Thank you! Must not have hit the points correctly. Whoa. No turning back now. Let's go! <sighs> Too bad I don't know how to write Baka. Uh, I mean, I know the characters are horse and deer. I guess the idea being that someone who rides a deer like it was a horse is stupid. But I don't know how to do it in characters, so I'll have to write it in Kana. Whoa, this place is off the chain. It's so ghostly. So this is the demon market. Not to be confused with the goblin market. I'm getting goosebumps just being here. I think that's your play. I so want to check it out, but I don't think they'll like non-demon dudes. Any ideas around that? Uh, yeah. Where were you hiding that, Chibi? What? You want me to wear this? Well, I guess it could work. Dude, this picture sucks. You got anything more in line with my good looks? Oh, yeah. Can't you, like, redraw it or something? Hold on. Make sure it looks cool, okay? Oh, sure. Okay. Yes, it's in Katakana. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Pretty sure I did that right. I hope I did that right. I think maybe it needed, should have had the... Boss! Now that's a suave face any lady would swoon over. I think it should have had the up... Uh, handle thing. Oh well. It's... My Kana is... Rusty. I'm, no, I'm keeping it. <laughs> now our secret identities will, like, remain secret. Here we go. Oh. Alright. So, into the demon market. Yay. Now there's some stuff we need to get here. Specifically three items. So, we look around... There's not really too much to do. 
You can ignore that, dude. But gee, guess what we have now? Vine. And we can finally get up to this and get the hook. A fishing hook made from deer's antler. We've finally finished the fishing manifest. Yeah. Uh, that's new. Mm. There we go. Oh. Right. We have new skills, we have to use them. We've got the chibi. And now into the next area. Yo! Those are my wings! Yeah, well. Hmm? Do you want something from me? Dude, that thing you're wearing belongs to me. Oops. I found it caught up in a tree's branches. That makes it mine. Finders keepers and all that. You don't understand. I really need it back. Persistent little pest, aren't you? Would you like to fight me for it? Yeah, actually I would. If you can defeat me, then you're welcome to it. This guy is green and... But if you lose, I get all those fancy clothes you're wearing. Um, yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Prepare to lose! You're not that special. I think he's only green imp question mark because he's got a few friends. Let's see. Power slash. I can't remember. No, I didn't think so. You can power slash this doofus. Right. Power slash him, and you'll get... Well, if you do it right, you'll get some demon skins, but I must have overkilled him. And of course, other green imps don't give you anything. Yeah, this guy is uh, not particularly difficult. <sighs> it's red imps and above that give you stuff. Pardon me. I thought that would be an easy win. Shows what you know. Here, if you lose it again, I'm keeping it. Thanks. Sweet, got my wings back. Ooh, that was a close one, huh? Yeah, hmm? Dude! No way! Oh, this blows. It's missing a piece. Mm-hmm. Dude, how am I gonna fly with this, like, feather gone? You're gonna find it, of course. It's just one thing after another. Now we gotta find some way to fix this. Ugh, okay. Alright, well, let's look around. And we can go places we couldn't go before. That isn't one of them, though. Could I?
and come back to me. Don't whine to the child. And we got a history scroll. We'll deal with it some other time. Oh, hello. Let's see. That guy will actually sell us crap, but I don't think we need any crap right now. Or even any items. Uh, let's see. All right, so. Vine. And Kudo. Kudo, come back. You can blame it all on me. Sorry. Uh. And the Witch Queen pipe. A pipe that spews evil with every puff. Okay, then. So, if we come up here, I suspect you can guess that there's... Well, let's talk to this dude. I don't like the looks of you. I thought they were done building here. We don't need workmen. Oh, well, if you don't belong here, someone will eat you anyway. Good point. Anyway, thanks. Oh, crap! 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 Um, damn it. Big ol' head must be the big cheese. Looks like she wiped out one too many. Yeah. How you feeling, but I was gonna save! Yeah, she's not happy. Hey, don't take it out on me! How's about a nice breeze to relax ya? Feels good, don't it? I'm not sure it does. Oh, look. That feather! You remember what my fortune said? Unfortunately. The feather you gain will allow you to fly on the breath of the gods. You think she was talking about that feather? Yes. Come on. Just gotta sneak up there. Kudo, no. Bad idea. Oh. Yep, just as I thought. It looks just like the feathers on my wings. Just gotta figure out how to reattach it. Magic! Magic, apparently! Oh, this is not gonna be good. I don't wanna do this next bit. <sighs> Sweet! What do you think? I think we need to get out of here. Looks even sturdier than before, eh? Great. Now we can get up to that thundercloud. Huh? What's that? Can I pause? Uh... I'm actually going to call it here and start the next episode. So uh, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play. Um, yeah, Let's Play Okami Den. I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.